Hmm, this one looks interesting. I think you're gonna like her. I'm sure she doesn't look like anybody around here. Let's see. Nazrin Moyed. Iranian. Studied in Tehran. Came to Canada. La at U of T. Then went to Laval. Bar 97. Fluently trilingual. But you know, they all say that. And then when they speak, we have to make them repeat everything twice. Hmm, let's have a look. Lots of experience in international trade. Some patent law. Wonder what her family situation is like. Oh, with our luck, she's probably a fundamentalist or something like that. Hello. Ah, pleased to meet you, Miss Moyed. Uh, am I pronouncing your name correctly? Actually, it's Moyed, but it's pretty good for first time. Thank you. I'm Francois Roberts, and this is Hélène Beauchamp, one of our partners. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Miss, Mrs. Uh, by all means, have a seat. Thank you. Well, first of all, thank you for your interest in our firm mm -hmm. and uh, coming to meet with us today. As you saw from the job announcement, we're looking for a new associate for our corporate law department. We need somebody who has good negotiating skills. Of course, um, we're anxious that this candidate fit in with the corporate culture of our firm. Mm -hmm. I see uh, from your resume that you've got uh, quite a lot of experience in international trade, particularly in the Middle East. Yes. Can you tell us something about this? Of course. For a variety of reasons, I became involved with various interests in uh, Jordan and in Iran that wanted to do business in Canada. For several of those, I negotiated some rather significant contracts, and I'm hoping to do more. And um, For these contracts, um how did you get them? Did you have affiliations with that part of the world or with people here? As you can see from my resume, I collaborated with the Canadian Muslim Association. And as you can imagine, the world is uh, very small in those circles. Yes, I could see that you were on the board of that association. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, were you there when the whole Palestinian issue blew up? What a mess that was, eh? I mean, all the vitriol in the press and so forth, could you tell us, um, what did you think about that? In fact, I was off the board by then, so I wasn't affected directly. Of course, I have my personal opinion on that. But as a lawyer and as a professional, I made certain that I kept an independent position on that. And I'm proud to say that I helped to calm the waters through my negotiating skills. In fact, I think it's fair to say that those skills have been very useful to me throughout all of my practice. Yeah, I, I'm almost ashamed to say this, but uh, we never had any Muslims working in this office mm -hmm. before. Uh, I'm curious to know, could you tell us something about what it means for somebody like you to come to work in a plain old wasp office like ours? Well, let me start by saying that I'm delighted to think that this might be your opportunity to change some of that. I mean, if you've never had a Muslim working here, I dare say you've got lots to look forward to. I don't have to tell you that I that, that we are no different from anyone else. I mean, I went to school in this country, and I have been practicing law for the past seven years now. But perhaps I would be in a better position to answer your question if I could ask you what kind of things you were anticipating. Oh, gosh, no. We don't want to make a big deal out of this. As Francois told you, it's simply out of curiosity that we're asking these questions. Of course, you mentioned earlier the corporate culture, and perhaps there is exactly, a exactly, exactly. It's fascinating how we take things for granted. No, it's true. Who stops to think that we work in an environment with a shared cultural and religious context? In our business, we think we're independent, but in reality, we're fulfilling the needs of our clients. And at the end of the day, it's our clients who decide what services and what people they want. Mind you, we've been talking quite a lot about reaching out of this firm, to, perhaps to add a bit of variety to our roster. But tell me, in your dealings with the Middle East, uh, what have been some of the major challenges you've encountered? Bureaucracy uh, is the most frustrating thing. Uh, I mean, we think it's bad here, but we have no idea. That being said, when you're dealing with a culture that is totally different, you have to do things differently. Once you accept that and you learn to work with it, 
then everything becomes a lot easier. And uh, what about corruption? Would you say that corruption is endemic with that part of the world? I mean, wouldn't you say it's more geographical than cultural? Uh, I'm not sure I follow, but if you're suggesting that within the Muslim world there's a connection between culture and corruption, I would have to say absolutely not. No, no, not at all. That's not what I'm inferring, but we know that corruption is often spoken about with respect to that part of the world, and you did work there. And I was wondering if you encountered it somehow, but from what I could see, you didn't, and thank goodness for that. Forgive me, Mrs. Uh, Miss, uh, is it Mrs. or Miss? I don't want to. I don't want to be incorrect here. As a Muslim woman, uh, are you comfortable working in what is a pretty heavily male-dominated work environment? Uh, and uh, I know that. Uh, in the Muslim world, uh, there are some issues about relationships uh, between opposite sex. And as you well know, uh, uh, from being a lawyer yourself, uh, this can be a pretty unfriendly profession uh, in respect to family life and uh, even about some religious practices. This is an interesting question. In fact, all of your questions have been interesting. I this may come as a bit of a surprise to you, but if you allow me, I'd like to make a suggestion here. My instinct tells me that perhaps you need to answer some of these questions before we can pursue this conversation. I, too, greatly appreciate the time you've given me today, but I'm going to suggest that we leave it at that for the time being. Please don't hesitate to call me if you decide to pursue that idea of adding some variety to the makeup of your roster. I'll leave you my resume. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.